Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Wes. For all those that are new, welcome, and how about stay a while? Everyone else, welcome back to our Staxel uh, 1.3.37. Wow, it's actually had a few updates since I last played, but none nonetheless, I'm just gonna just jump back into this. Um, I didn't plan on taking uh, as long as a break like I did in Staxel, but I kind of did. Anyways, other than that, let's get started for the day. Okay, so I went ahead and harvested or watered, you know, one or the other. <laughs> These, whoa, I just popped one sec. Let me just move my mic. There we go. I guess maybe I was talking over the pop filter. All right, as I was saying, we went ahead and watered the onions for the day. Um, we're going to kind of go into town. Let me see, what were we trying to do? Are we poor? No, we're not poor, but we're not rich. So, oh, what about cat food? We need to feed tiger. Is that her name? Its name? His name? What do we got? We got one in backlog, so maybe not, but... So what we're gonna go do then... Oh, did we need to build a barn? Yeah, <laughs> this is why you don't play games, um, you know, and then stop and then kind of come back without watching a previous video to kind of give you an idea of what's going on. I actually, I do that quite a bit to make sure that, you know, I'm not going in doing exactly what I'm doing right now, but hey, you know, I'm not perfect. Okay, so the barn thing, yeah, so we do have a lot of blocks and and stuff like that so i do know that some of my subscribers right the the older guys and girls knew kind of how i was building and you know they they don't like building as much um but those that are new to the channel you haven't really seen me build or kind of what i have to offer unless you've watched last seasons and last last seasons i guess this is considered season three but it's season one of 1.3 so maybe not <laughs> anyways the point i'm making on is is guys and gals, we're gonna have to make some happy medium, right? I'm sure there's some people that are new that would love to see kind of building ideas as well as, I'm sure, not showing, you know, 100% of it uh, every now and again, right? So maybe I'll put like a warning at the beginning of videos, like I'm about to build for some of it so you guys can just, you know, skip past it and make me cry. But then that's where I'm gonna say all the really important stuff so that everyone that's watching will be like, oh, Wes said to do this, he, I didn't know that, if only I watched. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna do that. So you guys gotta watch the end. <laughs> Anyways, besides wasting like 10 minutes into the video and not doing anything, let's go ahead. Um, let's chop some wood. What was the hold up? I didn't we need troughs? Yeah, we need troughs, but we didn't have the money to buy the hay bells or the nails because we were poor. I don't know why, maybe because we were. Um, so nonetheless, I believe that's what we were doing to build the barn. So I'm not crazy from going over here. So we need two of those. I think it's four of these goodness that's so <laughs> so expensive okay looks like i had everything else ready ready not ready um there we go one what am i missing Pro ton of that that's fine that's red that's red oh it's three nails does it mean i have to go buy two more goodness i really hope not all right grab two more nails no no put those down it's my lumber put that down I wonder if it was the, yeah, I wonder if it was the nails. Okay, so now that we have two troughs, I know that, oh, do we need to talk to her and kind of see what, oh, all right, well, she's not even here, so, oh, let's speak of the devil. All right, Eliza. What your new ways? That's how she's going to talk, apparently, today. What's that out of the way? It's a cause of putting the bits and pieces together. Each step in the blueprint uses a particular part of O-Craft Station. If you, if you need to see... Saw, uh, something. Either there's a saw bench, it'll do the rest for you. And you want to assemble something, and assemble station is the way to go. Makes sense, right? It actually does. Want to see the items down on the left side of the station? Find the result you take from the right. In fact, um, interfacing with the middle of. Oh my goodness. Oh. Oh, boo. <laughs> oh, boo. <laughs> well, sorry, I'm supposed to be reading this because. <laughs> There's new people and I might not know what's going on. Uh, <laughs> all right, once you have all the parts, go finish the barn. I'm sure <laughs> I don't have to remind you that, um, how to build a good structure. Just put down some blocks and put some full walls. Make sure you don't forget the door and you might return and with some blobs and cover with a solid roof block to keep out the rain. It really doesn't matter what it... The <clears throat> it's so hard to read in one, her voice, and two, 
with the accent and then read it properly. Uh, Topo Barn, you Bill, we don't <laughs> have a solid blueprint. Just keep most of the structures inside the glowing bits. <laughs> I love how it's called glowy bits. They're like, not bounding box. They're just like, there's some stuff on there and it glows. So put that on the bits and you're all good to go. I'll be waiting here to all about it when you're done. All right. Yeah, all right. So, I mean, that was $400 that didn't need to be spent. I didn't realize that if I only talked with her one more time, she would have given me hay and nails. Actually, six nails. Yeah. <laughs> You know what? I want to sell these. Take whatever money I have from it. Maybe I'll just, re just reimburse myself another day because that's just really lame. <laughs> I spend so much money that I didn't need to. Um, I don't even think these are going to sell for nearly half. No. Okay, well, I mean, that that's better. So I only owe myself, like, uh, it's not 200 because 200 put me at. Uh, maybe I was at 11 something. I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, we're done with that. I'm so all over the place this episode. So, now that we have two troughs, about a dozen building blocks with no roof blocks. Oh, because I sold them all because I told everyone I was going to build a barn off camera and come back. It's all coming back to me. All right, so we'll have to at least put the foundation down um, and kind of start with that, right? I mean, we got to start somewhere. Um, so, I do know a few uh, subscribers actually commented on one of the other seasons, like, let's not make carbon copies of everything, which is actually a challenge to me in and out of itself because I usually like... Uh, once I find a design I like, I usually just like mimicking it a bunch of times. Um, but in this case, hey, what's this? Paw lamp. Okay, cool. Can I put this anywhere? Oh, no, it has to actually go on the table. Thanks, Tiger, for the cool lamp. There we go. Um, you know, once I find a design, I just like to copy-paste a bunch of times. It's just kind of how I play. Um, other than this, right, this, so this took a ton of time off-screen, off-camera to kind of fix that. That's broken. I need to fix that. <laughs> um... And, and so, you know, this was kind of the idea that I'd go in kind of playing anew with a better house just because it'd be fun. Um, but I still think we're going to need to show at least some building. And that's what I feel. Okay, so not mimicking. Oh, that's why we have this over here. I'm not mimicking kind of the barn I did last time. I'm not so sure how to really not mimic it. I mean, I, I get that, you know, it's a barn. So, I mean, I'm sure people won't mind it having four walls and a roof, but... I guess maybe the size and the dimensions I made it. Maybe I'm supposed to make it a little bigger, a little smaller. I don't know. What do you guys say? Go ahead and just tell me something down below as far as, like, what do you have in mind for the barn? Um, and then we kind of move forward with that. So let me grab all these additional building blocks. So maybe that's what we're going to do. Why don't we just call this episode, like, prep work? Because, you know, we have to gather some of the supplies, if not all the supplies, first before building. But in this case, we're just going to build some of the barn and then kind of clear the foundation and kind of designate where we want to go but i do like to see all your guys' comments so feel free just to say hi or to be like you know what i think we should put it there because who knows maybe that's where it'll actually go okay so let me go over here um go here and then let's see put over here all right so that should be enough building blocks and i guess cream brick blocks for now Okay, so, uh, I guess the last two seasons, I always built the barn over on this corner, or, no, it's not true, it was th here, I think, both seasons. That was where I put my work kind of shop, and then it was kind of just open fields. So, in this case, let's actually take a look on the map, since it's 3D. So, Oscar's already coming to our house, so those that are new to the channel, you might not know, but... Uh, my arch nemesis is Oscar, and so we're gonna go ahead and just tell him to get off our lawn, if not... I mean, he's going to totally just walk in on our property and, you know, stand on your ground rule doesn't apply here. So, uh, if you know what that is, awesome. If not, don't look it up. Okay, so it looks like we've been backed into a mountain range a little bit over here. We have some clear space there, and then again, we just have another mountain. Ha, there he is, walking away in defeat. Good, get out of here, Oscar. He's my arch nemesis. Um, he's trying to also take over the town of Staxel unofficially, but I think officially. Ah, so the reason why I'm looking for kind of clear space is to kind of plan in advance, kind of master build in regards to, well, I'm going to need a ton of space for farm, right? For crops and all that. And so if I'm building, you know, like the animal pins kind of close, then I'm going to need a ton of room to potentially build a bunch of, of kind of rows of, of crops to, to gain money. So in that case, then we'll be probably there. Uh, if that's the case, then let's go ahead and... Let's put the barn over here. Um, you know what we can do a little differently? 
is we can kind of fence this off, right? So build the barn kind of... Hmm, how do I want to do this? Because I like the barn to be in the back. So build it maybe like in this corner and then fence it off because then we can get to our animals. So it's something different, but at least it's it's functional in my opinion. Um, okay, so for that, let's go ahead and just grab a few of these fence blocks. Uh, since it's going to be a while since we actually can custom order them uh, through the shipping station. So if those are new, you're like, what's a uh, shipping station? You have to tune in just to kind of see what's going on. Okay, so pretty much if you're new again and you're on this episode, and you're wondering like, okay, well, what am I supposed to be doing? Um, really, it's your it's your imagination that really kind of determines how you want to play, right? I mean, you you can like it was saying in the tutorial, you can honestly do nothing in terms of the talk to the town folk. You can just farm to your heart's content, gain you know half a million dollars, and call it a call it a good day or a good session. Or you can kind of now use the friendship system and kind of integrate that into your gameplay and do quests for them. Or you can be just building and kind of doing stuff like that. So let's see. I have 21. I believe we're going to make this gap. No problem. Ah, Tiger, you need to come on this side, my friend. There we go. All right. There we go. There, there, there. I'm going to assume Tiger's a guy just moving forward. Uh, okay. So that's enough there. But now that doesn't look like enough space. Now, what do you guys think? I think, I don't think it's enough. So I guess since we have some extra, what we can do is maybe push this out by four, four blocks total. So we'll pick this up. This won't be there anymore. So we need to get rid of that. And I'll show you why in a sec. So this makes a T junction and not a, a, I don't know, quad junction, if you will. Okay, so this one we'll know to turn this way and then we'll just start moving this way. Okay, then we'll have to pick up these bricks. Okay, so I've been building for like four minutes, so it means the people I don't want to see building are already gone. Okay, you guys want to know a cool thing that I learned or something kind of update in, in my real life? Okay, so I'm going to tell all the cool people that actually stick sticked around. Okay, so I actually, you know, been working at a new job, and so that's why I've kind of been, you know, unavailable for that one week because it was kind of hectic. You want to know why? It's because I got a promotion, guys. They liked me enough. They're like, hey, we're going to give you a promotion. Yeah, so it's cool, right? I thought so. So I'm an assistant manager. What does that mean? It just means I have an assistant and manager. You know you know what it made me think of right off the bat? If you guys are familiar with The Office, it just made me think of assistant to the, the manager, not an assistant manager. I'm assistant to the manager, which is almost like what it feels like. So, you know, those that are familiar with having like general managers and stuff, I don't have to do really any of the big stuff, but you know, I, I can help out like just like an assistant would, you know, counting money or, or helping people up front with various things, you know, checking money, kind of stuff like that. Um, other than that, I mean, uh, there is no other, no other change other than I got paid a little more, but don't tell my coworkers. Um, do we not have a pickaxe? Why are we like this in this season? This season just failed to fail apart before it even got off the ground and it's my fault no one else to blame but but me so if you guys are are the the creators of stacks and you're wondering like man where did this kid go just just don't worry i'm right here i'm gonna i'm gonna start making videos again so let's actually that's not even where i need to go i need to go over here and grab grab a uh grab a pics so uh, all right so pretend nothing happened because now the people that skipped it would probably got to this part and then just don't tell them right so don't don't say anything in the comments. Just be like, oh, that was cool. Just say that, right? And then I'll know what you're, you guys are talking about and kind of create a cool cool kids club in the, uh, in the uh, you know, the videos now since people don't want to see building. <laughs> I hope you guys know I'm not really, I'm not bashing on anyone. <laughs> I don't expect anyone to actually <laughs> click off or, or skip through. But okay, now that we're back to here. Um, okay, so back to Staxel because my, my head's all over the place. Uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna fill this in for right now because I'm not so sure about how to do the barn. Again, this is nothing but prep work. So uh, if you're new, again, uh, you know, I'm just gonna start explaining things as if people are new um, to the game. So what I like to do is for the sign, it just has to be somewhere, right? Now, the problem with me in, in this regards is since this sign, let me go ahead and toggle the, the uh, display. It's right at the center, right? And so some of you are like, oh no, that's where it's supposed to be, right? The only problem is, is let's say you're building a barn and let's say you wanted this to be the front so you have the cool little sign. Um, well now this is in the center of your farm or in the, in the center of the barn and you're not really gonna have that much in terms of wiggle room. 
And so that's not good. Um, in all honesty, if again, the barn just has to be, um, it doesn't even have to be within this box. The only thing that needs to be within this box, according to the sign, if you see, it just says a roof. I mean, honestly, it could just be two blocks and it will count as a roof. And then the two troughs. So, excuse me. You see that the, there's this problem now, right? Where if I wanted this to be centered based on this box, um, you know, assuming this was the front, I'd have to have the troughs on one of these sides. You can do this like rectangle sign and have the barn, um, the sign off to the barn. If you ask me, I've kind of talked about this. This right here, this, whoops. The corner of the sign should be the end and then it should be a bounding box, which like this shifted over, I don't know, I think it's seven or eight blocks. So shifted over this way. So now the sign's on the corner of your barn. Anyways, long story short, if you don't like that and what you want to do um, is to get rid of it is just put it at the back of the barn and then make the entrance on the opposite side of where the sign is. So for instance, since I know this will be here uh, and I have plans to make the barn already this way, this is how the, the you know, I can make it still even, but you won't see any of this stuff. I might, however, move this over a bit only because I don't, I don't know about you guys, but I don't like blocks touching as far as fences because you really, I mean, you can in real life, but that's not how I liked it. Because, I mean, it kind of just looks silly. Uh, maybe. I don't know. This game is a little different. They don't kind of connect like I, I guess Minecraft would. Um. Okay. Let's see. It's just kind of something like that. Um. What I also do, too, is I, I lose a block because I like to block off the sign. But that's not true. And, and again, kind of go with that whole concept of sense. Again, you don't have to limit yourself to this box you can build as big and as crazy as you want uh you don't really lose a block it's just a block within the bounding box meaning the trough only you know the troughs only have now this to the inside of that line now to to be in there but i mean it's still a ton of space if you ask me okay so i have a few ideas of how i want to build this um and kind of take care of this tiger how did you manage to get back in here and now you're asleep now i'm gonna look like a bad guy for waking you up okay so now since that's the case we're gonna go ahead and just to, you know, tear this down so he can get out. And then we're going to have to call it a night, which means we'll have to call it an episode. So ladies and gentlemen, thank you all those that have been commenting, subscribing, liking, and just overall showing your support. I do appreciate it. Those that are, you know, the cool kids and are, you know, the veterans of this channel, welcome. And I guess say thank you is really what I was trying to say. I was thinking at the beginning of the episode. And for everyone else that's kind of in between, in the middle, maybe you've been here for a month or four or seven. Not seven. I don't think I've been doing this for seven months. Four, six. Anyways... Um, also, thank you for, for you guys. Um, I guess come back next time where we're going to kind of build part of the barn and then I'll finish it off camera if I can. Honestly, some days it's just easier to do it all on camera. But again, we'll, we'll do why well, we, I mean me, I'll try to do my best. But other than that, I mean, now that everyone's already clicked off, it means you guys are the even elite of the elite. Um, I guess have a good day. Hope you guys, your, your, you know, your morning's going off well. And I'll see you guys, um, what's today for you? Wednesday, so I'll see you guys Friday. Anyways, uh, as always, guys, keep it real.